everyone. So where to even begin these past few weeks have been so crazy for me. I went to New York twice. My mom came into town. It was Sawyer's birthday. We went to San Diego. So there have just been a lot of things that have been going on. We had a photo shoot yesterday. And then in the midst of all of that, Elle and I have been working on something that is probably our most exciting announcement that we will ever announced you guys and we are going to be telling you guys that early next week so be on the lookout for that I am so excited and we knew that it would be a lot of work when we decided to take this project on but we also were like but it's gonna be so much fun and it is fun and it has been probably the most amazing experience like ever of our entire lives but at the same time it's tedious it takes long hours and yeah so I'm not gonna get too much into that because we are going to be doing a video on that early next week and we're gonna film it together and I'm so excited Excited because we don't film together that much so I feel like when we do it's like so huh, I don't know it's just fun so um yeah okay here's my dilemma I have a um, internal battle going on between pre-filming and stockpiling videos and not. The reason being, when I have these crazy busy weeks, I'm only putting up like one video a week because I'm so busy, but I feel like if I filmed videos ahead of time and then uploaded them so that I had more of like a routine schedule type video uploading that that would never happen, but here's the problem. When I film a video, I like to know that you guys are going to be answering whatever I'm talking about in like an hour. I like to know that as soon as I turn the camera off I'm going to go you know edit the video and upload it and then you guys will be talking back to me like I don't like thinking about filming a video and then saving it for a week and then uploading it I don't feel the same connection but maybe just for weeks like this I should do that I don't know I want you guys to let me know in the comments like what do you think I should do would you guys rather me like stockpile some videos so that when I am having a crazy week I still get some content up there I'm not really sure and like blog posts I'm still able to do a blog post every single day on ellenblair.com so those are really fun I'm able to type them up you know in between things and like yesterday I wrote one while Elle was getting some single shots done I was like doing a blog post and stuff so that's always fun but at the same time I feel like videos are like so much more personal and I get to tell you guys so much more through videos and they're not as like, oh, don't forget a period here and a comma here or you'll look stupid. Because like when I'm speaking, I don't really care. Do you use punctuation when you're speaking? I guess not. Kind of. I don't really because they say that you're only supposed to like raise your voice at the end of a sentence if you're asking a question like, um, oh, would you like to go to Disney World? I don't know. But um, my voice is always raised because I have like a crazy high pitched voice. But anyways, this is like a random video. This is going to be a beauty blabber. It's like a super short little haul of things that I've collected along the way of the past like two weeks. But it's also a review because I've been using the products so I can tell you what I think about them. So the first thing I got is when I went to New York the second time I stayed in this awesome hotel which it was called like I think Mandarin Soho but it wasn't Mandarin because I kept calling it Mandarin because I thought like oh Mandarin oranges but it's not Mandarin it's I don't know but it's something Soho and they had this shampoo in the um, showers I used it once I fell in love with it so then we were walking because Elle and I were just like shopping around Soho and we walked into Bloomingdale's and I saw that they had it for sale and I was like score so I bought it so this is the Malin and Goetz Malin and Goetz uh, peppermint shampoo okay this smells so pepperminty it literally reminds me of a white peppermint mocha from Starbucks like it just it smells so good I probably would like this more in the winter time like now that we're going into summer I feel like I would like more of like a citrusy um scent but I still love it and I've been using it every single day um and I'm it smells so good and okay so you know how a lot of times when you're washing your hair and then you rinse the shampoo out like the shampoo doesn't stay in your hair completely or of course the shampoo doesn't stay in your hair the scent doesn't stay in your hair like then when you smell your hair it smells clean but you can't really smell the exact scent that's not how this one works you smell peppermint and it was really funny because I had my mom smell my hair I like stuck my head in her face and I was like smell smell and she was like oh yeah and I was like it smells like peppermint doesn't she and she was like mm hmm yeah it smells like peppermint but um, she wasn't really smelling it, but then I went to the gym and I came back and I had like sweated, which is kind of like really gross, but I walked by her and she was like, oh my goodness, I smelled the peppermint. And I was like, wait, so you mean that when I sweat, it's actually going to be smelling more like peppermint. So I'm like, so 
as I sweat at the gym, I'm going to be smelling better instead of worse. And she was like, if you like the scent of peppermint, yes, um, which I do. I love it. So yes. And then I also got the matching conditioner. I like the conditioner. I'm probably not going to repurchase it. It's, it's the cilantro hair conditioner. They didn't have a peppermint scent, but this was the one that was like in the hotel room together. So I assume they went together, even though now I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not sure if they go together, but um, it's a nice conditioner. I'm going to use the whole bottle up, but then I probably won't repurchase it. I don't honestly feel like there's anything like that great or special about it. I also like how lathery, is that a word? Lathery? I also like how um, the peppermint shampoo lathers on my scalp and it just gives me like this really rich, like bubbly and I'm like smelling it and I'm like, oh, it smells so good. But um, I had something else to say. It's on the tip of my tongue. I lost it. What was it? Hmm. The world may never know. All right, and then the next thing I got is a hand cream, which I'm not a crazy hand cream person. Whenever I get out of the shower, I always put moisturizer on my skin, so I feel like while I'm rubbing it into my legs and my arms and stuff, it's getting on my hands, so I never really felt like I needed a hand cream. But then um, I came across this one, and the packaging was so cute. It came in, like, the cutest little box that looks amazing, like, on your vanity or your dresser, and I was like, okay, gotta pick it up. So this is the Lolia Calm Hand Cream. It's a Shea Butter Hand Cream, and it smells so so good they have like different scents like calm and wish and dream which I think are really awesome um, and I use this for the first time and now it has become like a routine in the morning I put my moisturizer on and then I do like my face moisturizer and all that stuff and then I put my hand cream on and at night I take off my makeup and I wash my face and I do my face moisturizer and then I put my hand cream on and it just feels like climbing into a clean made bed with like your hand cream on I don't know does that sound weird I don't know. I've seen these at Anthropology before, though, and, like, I always kind of thought, like, oh, that would look really cute, like, sitting on my vanity, but I was like, you don't use hand cream. But then I tried it, and I was like, okay, I kind of love you. And then the next thing I got, do you guys remember, in my updated skincare routine, I talked about how I had used the Hydra Beauty Serum from Chanel. Um, they gave me some samples, and I was using it, and I was, like, not using it every day because I wanted the samples to last a really long time. Well, you guys talked me into it in the comments. I asked you guys if you thought I should, I guess, like, invest and purchase it and all of you are like yeah if you like the samples that much and if it makes that much of a difference you should get it so you talked me into it and I went to Nordstrom and I picked it up so I'm loving this I already kind of talked about this in that video but it's just a serum will kind of penetrate your skin a little bit deeper than a moisturizer will so you put this on before you put your moisturizer on and then your moisturizer will penetrate like just as deep I guess and it actually does work I said in the video I was like if I couldn't tell a difference I would use up the sample but I wouldn't purchase it but I can tell a huge difference so now this is part of my everyday I guess like skincare routine and then the last item I have isn't a beauty item at all it's a monkey but I've added a new monkey this one's name is Diego because I got him at the San Diego Zoo Sawyer bought him for me and um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while then you know that I have over 300 stuffed animal monkeys obsessive much uh, yeah I am obsessed obsessed with them. I am addicted to them. I got my first one. My parents like picked out a stuffed animal for me for the day I was born and it happened to be a monkey. And then ever since then, it was kind of just a tradition. And then when I got old enough to realize that like all of my stuffed animals at the tea party were monkeys, then I was like, okay, I'm going to start collecting them. And I always, I get into these obsessive habits where I collect things. Like first it was monkeys and now it's makeup and stuff like that. So I don't know, but I have a new monkey to add to the collection. So everyone should say hi to Diego. And yeah, he's so cute, isn't he? And isn't the monkey on Dora the Explorer named Diego? Don't ask me how I know that, but I kind of used to watch that all the time and it taught me a little bit of Spanish. His birthday is on May 25th and we're going to go on a girl's trip. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go, but I'm I'm really really excited for that and so this is like the perfect time to talk about should I pre-film should I not pre-film so here are options most of the time when I'm going on vacation I won't pre-film a video because like I said at the beginning I don't feel like as connected to you guys I don't okay here's the thing I don't feel as much like a time traveler because like right now I'm talking to my camera but I know that I'm talking to you guys an hour in the future so I kind of feel like I live like my life in the future a little bit but when you pre-film that far in advance it like doesn't work it like kind of cancels each other out and you're just pre-filming videos and you guys won't see them for like a week so I don't like pre-filming but 
I'm thinking maybe it should work because I always tell myself, oh, you'll film on vacation. And even if I film when I'm on vacation, I don't end up editing and uploading the videos. And then it's like three weeks later when I still have the footage and I'm like, oh, nobody cares now, like blah, blah, blah. So I'm wondering, before I go out of town with Elle for her birthday, should I pre-film videos and like have them set to go up? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Would you like to see some videos? They will be pre-filmed, but I mean, I guess that doesn't really make a difference to you guys as much as it does to me. I just feel like I'm really talking to you guys when I know that the video is going to go up like right now. Whereas, I don't know, I feel like when you pre-film it just takes a little bit of that away. Um, yeah, that's all I really had to say in this video. It was kind of a random video just to admit that I'm a failure and I will be the first one to say that. Hello, my name is Blair Fowler and I'm a failure because I think I've proven that even though for the past four years I've been doing these videos and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to get on a consistent schedule. I'm not going to be a slacker with videos anymore. And then I go and I do it again. So I kind of feel like I just, I leave you guys with empty promises and then broken computer screens. I don't really know, but um, I promise I am going to try to get on a consistent consistent video schedule, but I guess we're going to have to see how that works out because we've seen how it works out in the past. But I feel like if I just kind of work it into my everyday routine, I would be able to do it. I don't know. I always say that. And then for some reason things happen and life happens. And yeah, you guys know how that is. Say bye to Diego. I love him so much, but I will talk to you guys later. Make sure leave in the comments. Do you want me to pre-film before I go out of town with Elle for her birthday? Or do you just want me to take the chance of probably filming, but then not uploading? I don't know. So do you guys want to see videos? Um, basically is what I'm asking you. So I'm going to go ahead and go, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.